Chair, Conference, Jack Warren representing Taunton CLP. This government has taken the decision, quite rightly, to delay entry to the single currency for the time being. This decision is clearly the right decision for Britain at the moment, but that does not mean that the euro will not eventually be right for Britain. At present, the necessary rise in taxation to counterbalance the harmonisation of interest rates would total £20 billion, something which would be unacceptable considering our election promises. But that does not mean we should forget about the euro completely. The delay in entry gives us a golden opportunity to go out and persuade the public of the benefits of monetary union in preparation for a referendum we hope early in the second term of a Labour government. We need to enter the euro as soon as the economic conditions are right so we can shape the nature of our new integrated economic structure. We have heard a lot recently on the need to cut interest rates to secure jobs. But the Bank of England Monetary Policy Commission has a very simple answer. Unemployment is, according to them, too low. Below the natural level is, I believe, the euphemism they use. But such subtle terms do not make that statement any less disgusting. New Labour must work to ensure that the U new European central bankers do not suffer from such a blatant lack of compassion as their British forebears clearly do. What would the natural level of unemployment for Europe be? 20 million? 30 million? Labour must work within the EU to ensure our new central bank is run by people who recognise that the natural level of unemployment should be zero unemployment. <laughs> this government is giving us a people's Britain. Our 13 left of centre governments in Europe, including the newly elected SDP in Germany, should give us a people's Europe. It is up to these governments and it is up to new Labour to give us a people's central bank and a people's euro. Thank you.